Gregory Doyle. I'm the Harrison County ESF-8 Medical Disaster Officer for Harrison County. All right, Gregory, we're talking about um, sheltering. The, uh, the shelters uh, will be open. Mm -hmm. um, the uh, EMA office has designated uh, certain places for shelters. We are still in a pandemic. Talk to us about uh, what people need to know about if they're going to a shelter um, and what precautions they need to take. Okay, um, one, one thing people need to remember is, you know, the phrase, you run from the wind, or you, you hide from the wind and you run from the water. Um, shelters that Harrison County opens up are, we call them shelters of last resort. That means there's just absolutely no other place for you to go. So when, the Harris, when Harrison County EMA does make the decision to open a shelter, um, there are going to be some guidelines and some, and some rules that you're going to have to follow when you go. Um, especially remembering that we're in the middle of a pandemic. Um, COVID-19 is still out there. It is rampant in South Mississippi, Mississippi, and the, the entire Southeast, as a matter of fact. Um, there's a lot of people that are sick. And you need to remember that when you do go to a shelter, you need to make sure that you know what the guidelines are going to be for the shelter. Um, in a nutshell, they're going to be, you're going to have to bring face protection. You're going to have to bring sanitizer with you. You're going to have to f have a way to keep yourself distanced from other people that aren't in your immediate family. Um, the folks that you're living with are considered safe. The folks that you're not living with, you need to stay away from when you're in a shelter, um, as much as six feet as possible. Um, shelters are crowded. Uh, they can be noisy. Um, they're not super comfortable. Um, they are just literally shelters of last resort when you have nowhere else to go. So if there's somewhere else you can go when they call for an evacuation or they start talking about an evacuation, or even before the, the local government officials tell you you should evacuate, if you think you should leave because you live in a place that's going to flood or it's not safe from the wind, then feel free to leave. Go somewhere safe. Uh, go to a friend's house. Go get a hotel room. Go um, up north. Go somewhere else other than where the storm is going to impact. Um, watch the weather. Watch the bulletins. Make sure that you um, get the guidelines and the information at the shelter that you choose to go to if you choose to go to one. Um, and just make sure that you're ready to, to follow those rules to keep yourself and everybody else around you as safe as possible. 